All right, bit of a treat today. This is a uh, Zip Guns Fiat 500 Abarth. I have not driven it yet. And uh, it's actually been a shit while since I have driven manual. I have seen how easy it is to kind of uh, stall out first gear, but to uh, find out, I don't know, it's been a while. I gotta fuck with this seat, I guess. Not quite as tall as the man. Um, what could possibly go wrong? Tells me that uh, there's no point doing shit unless you got the support button on. How do I tell? There it says support. The turbo gauge goes up to 20 psi. I don't think we're ever gonna get there. If we do, we will blow up this fucking engine. Let's see. four-wheel drive. That'd be fucking amazing. Probably deadly as well. I don't really know if we'll get to see where the boost comes on. I'm going to try and play it safe here. Now zip down there. He is a big fan of Italian cars. I don't know shit about him except for reputation. Which in some cases is good. Some. So much. Now that the foliage is up, can't see with the dam. It's one place where winter is better. straightaway when we come back that'll be fucking awesome anyway I like this like it's fucking it's just tight you see why Henderson throws it around it's fucking it's made for it actually if I have to I'll pull into the Baptist church there wait for like no traffic like I used to do in the Studebaker and give her some balls and hopefully don't fucking scare the shit out of myself or black paint. Anyway, I'm fucking impressed. Like, I could totally drive this thing. When you're just cruising like this, I mean, it's completely placid. But if you want to, you downshift. Fuck shit up. One thing I've never owned something like this, a small, sporty car, never, never even come close. The only thing Karen and I used to throw around was the uh, Volkswagen Bug that we got from Mom. But, it's not a, you know, it was never a performance thing. 
kind of pretended, but I like this. It is a busy motherfucking day out here today. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. That was weird. I forgot a fucking thing. That would suck. God, I'm not in a classic car, so I wave at the fucking bow monitor. Order. I'm going to get insurance on the uh, Red Valiant. Because on Wednesday I take it in for the alignment and the tires. And the check brakes, and I'll probably get them changed to oil too, because it's been a while. Hopefully they don't find too much wrong with it, but... Takes my chances. Yeah, this thing's fucking sweet. That's all there is to it. That's what all the high-tech gets you in there. actually know if the uh, sport mode uh, adjusts the uh, suspension or not. Oh yeah, just listen to that. I know it tunes the engine, but I'm just not sure all the shit that it does. I will leave you here. Um, I don't know if that's safe, actually. I'll I'll take you down.
emergency brakes. When Leno went out in one of these, he did a full on emergency brake, like 180, it was awesome. There you go. It looked effortless. This is turbocharged four. And, uh, <laughs> um, 165 horsepower, I think, is what's written. Yeah, this motherfucker gets up and goes, there ain't no doubt about it. I know for a fact, uh, well, not even the, not even the Studebaker will do, uh, 0 to 60 with this well, there's no, no way. This thing doesn't waste shit. there make some room Check out the uh, rotos. Not pretty. 